Okay, as you can guys can still tell, I'm still not recovered. I must I'm recording this on the same day as I did on the, the last recording session, so yeah, I'm nowhere near close to recovered or getting better. And I believe this one here, Diamonds Aren't Forever, which I think in the original one was... I think it, the Million Pound Puzzler or something like that. This is, I believe, the final case in the game. I believe. There may be a DLC and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna mess with them. And I believe this is to actually be the, the last actual... ...case of the entire game. Officially, anyway. A curious invitation arrives at the agency. It's for a puzzle party to the famous fortune. But who is the host? Lord Adamas? Miss Layton, look what just arrived in the post. It's addressed to Professor Layton. Well then, we have voice acting right, right off the beginning. Interesting. Read it out, please, Ernest. I have discovered the Richmond fortune. Now to share it out, I am arranging a puzzle-solving party to take place on Christmas Eve. All those wishing to participate should come to Richmond Court. Expectantly yours, Lord Adamas. Hmm, interesting. The legendary Richmond Fortune. Richmond Fortune? It's a very famous tale here in the city, Sherl. There's a large palace that was built here in London by the now deceased multi-millionaire Maximilian Richmond. Since his death, the place has been deserted. People have long speculated that there must be a fortune hidden somewhere inside the enormous mansion. And there's been no end of breaking and entering by people trying to find it. It's been ten years now since Maximilian passed away. But what's all this about a puzzle-solving party to share it out? It sounds rather queer. Do you think it's a hoax? Hoax or not, it sounds like fun. We'll go. I think you'll find it wasn't actually your name on the invitation. I expect that's because of the sign above the door. It only says Leighton, after all. I imagine whoever sent the invitation was hoping for the attendance of a great puzzle solver. In which case, the invitation landed in the right lap anyway. If there's anyone who can outstrip Dad in the puzzle solving department, it's me. Oh, really? Diamonds aren't forever. Also, you gotta love her cat's confidence there, don't you? So, this is Richmond Court. Hmm. It's gone to the dogs, but you can tell it was quite something in its day. Well, well, what do you know? Is the entire case voice acted? Because if it is, it, it helps my throat, so thank you. Gosh, it seems we weren't the only people who had a mysterious invitation in the post. That's quite an impressive guest list. Yes, seven of London's wealthiest. <laughs> I didn't know you'd be coming too. Hello, Mr. Barnan. I see you're in very good company. I wonder why we're all here together. Yeah, it's a real head-scratcher, ain't it? 
I don't know what this is all about, but who wouldn't be intrigued by a note like that? I quite agree. I couldn't imagine declining such a fascinating invitation. Okay, that's nice at all, but you know, you guys should be a, a bit more careful. Again, you guys are seven of the most, uh, the richest guys in all, all of London. This could have been a trap. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Richmond Court. I am your host, Lord Adamas. Hmm? Huh? I would like to invite you all to take part in a game with me. A puzzle-solving game with the very highest stakes. This is crazy. Lose, and the entire fortune will be donated to the Dark Jewel Foundation. So, on the table in front of you, you will find some contracts. Sign them, please. That is so incredibly dangerous. Don't do that, please. You guys are rich. You, you know contracts. Don't be stupid. Getting crazier. You may, of course, refuse if you wish. As long as you don't mind your dirty secret being exposed. Secret? Oh, yeah. I'm sure they'll all jump to sign on the dotted line. This all sounds totally above board. Oh, well, this promises to be quite entertaining. Yes, count me in. Oh, yes. The mayor never shies away from a challenge. <laughs> what fun! What? Why not? Sounds like it's worth taking a punt on. Exactly. We dragons didn't get where we are today without taking risks. I'm in. I am of the same opinion as you. Eliza, what is your feeling? I... I think I ought to have a go. Do I sign here? <laughs> Well, Lord Adamas, whoever you are, you have your wish. We have all signed on the dotted line. Did you people know, like you read a freaking contract? Why would you do that? Oh my god, why? Oh no, this, this is dumb. This is bad. Excellent. So let's get started on the puzzle. Okay, so it's not all voice acted, okay. But as I was saying, why the heck did you guys do that? Why? Oh my god, this is so freaking dumb. Well, that's all seven our dirty signatures on that paper. Haha. <laughs> Precisely. How is this puzzle solving party going to proceed, please? The rules of the game I have devised for you are all extremely simple. From this hallway, you have access to four rooms. The red door leads to the Rosenberg room. The blue door leads to the room called the treasury. The green door leads to the hope room. The, and behind the purple door is a room called the tre treachery. The Rosenberg room and the treasury. Honestly, what's all this nonsense about? Hope and treachery. You must locate yourself a little puzzle in each of the four rooms. If you fill out a puzzle, you lose. And according to... The terms of the contracts you just signed, you'll hand over your fortress to me. If you all complete, complete all four puzzles successfully, you win. In which case, you'll become the higher of the great Richmond fortune. I hope that's all. All clear. Good. Then please pick a door and begin. Well, this sounds simple enough. Oh, I feel my fortune swelling already. Haha. <laughs> Don't be so sure of yourselves, Double. Double. I'll give you a run for your money. So you can choose which room you tackle, tackle when. Which means the order you go at then could be strategically important. Oh dear, I'm not sure which door to pick first. All roll is to the same destination, Liza. You must solve all the puzzles in the, in the end if you wish to win. Well, that's a good point. I suppose we should simply say, may the best man or woman win. All the other guests have picked a room and gone in, miss. Where do you think we should start? 
Mm, yes, let me see. Welcome, Miss Layton. Miss Catriel Layton. Who's, it, who's is that voice? It's the same person who was speaking before. It seems a mysterious Lord Armas is welcoming me personally. I invited Professor Layton to this event as an adjudicator. It's a shame he hasn't come. I'm afraid my father is busy, but, uh, but I'm here. Can I help? There's just one thing the adjudicator must do first. I need you to sign the contract that you'll find in the middle of the room. What sort of contract? Yeah, obviously this one. But first let me explore here. Okay, so it's not a puzzle. Lovable Lake Dweller. Okay. Goat. Was it Pandora the Professor Layton puzzle the game? I think the second one. And Pandora's box. Wasn't the the main symbol or the main animal actually a goat? Oh, thanks. What the Okay, I think my controller drift there for a second. Ah. Yeah, I'm just searching and apparently I'm figuring out my control is starting to drift. Which is honestly a bit annoying. Oh, a puzzle. Oh, look, Shul. Do you see how this burner swings? A swinging burner, really? Oh, the technology. Oh, look, Shul. What now? Don't tell me. It smells. No, there's a puzzle hidden in it. We could do something to lighten the mood, don't you think? Bead brain bleed too. Oh no, this one. <laughs> Why did it have to be this one? Ugh, I'm not a big fan of this, I'll tell that much. Now let's see. Here we have a simple child's toy that consists of five rows, blah blah. blah. Yeah. What have you from above from the front and from the right hand? So I can look how many bees there are in total, blah, 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 blah. Many, many unbearable moments later. Okay, after some quick math, I think the answer is 11. Hopefully I'm right. This is an interesting one. Puzzles are made for solving. Yay. You did it, you can count the total number of beads. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, let's continue. Ah, that was fun. Can you stop fiddling with the fixtures and fi fit in now? Aha! Always check the lights. Also, who the hell are you supposed to be? What a huge portrait. Who is that old man? Ah oh, yes, I've seen that face before in the papers. That is Maximilian Richmond, the multimillionaire owner of this place who passed away 10 years ago. The master of the house, eh? That's right. Anyway, when he died, his enormous fortune simply disappeared. There were rumors that he ate somewhere when he knew he was going to die, and now it seems that someone has uncovered it. Who is this Lord Adamas? Okay. Yeah, I believe I have to sign the contract. This must be the contract. Let's see what this is all about. The educator Raymond consents to make the events he or she witnesses at the disposal of an event known to the general public. What unusual terms? I'm expecting to be sworn to secrecy, not the other way around. Now, Miss Layton, before you sign on the dotted line, first let's see if you're worthy substitute for your father. How many poses have you sold so far in your career as a detective? Hmm. Now let's see, we have solved a total of 119 puzzles so far. In the case, I'm willing to accept you as the educator in your father's stead. So now please sign the contract. You'll be required to spread the word about what you witnessed here today 
to make the public aware of what transpired. They are outstanding, is that alright? Very good. Now you know the rules. Losers lose everything and the winner takes away the Great Richmond fortune. Your job is to oversee the puzzle solving until all persons have been eliminated. Or until somebody wins. So the puzzles of Richmond Court await you. Enjoy. Well, I got a job, Cat. Now where do we start? Oh, let me see. Alright, I've decided. We start in the Rosenberg room. Because... Because I feel like it. Put me down now. Because you feel like it? Sure, let us forget the mistakes and instincts I've added to the successful resolution of a great many cases. I'm quite sure they'll get here well now too. Thank you, Ernest. So I'll ask you have a better suggestion, Cheryl? Well, not really, no. I thought so. Into the Rosenberg room then. Actually, let me check the doors. <coughs> this is the hope room behind this door, isn't it? Green for hope makes perfect sense. This is the door that leads to the Rosenberg room, then. I suppose that red mountain emblem is the Rosenberg. Sounds important. If I remember right, it is the door of room that I must call the treachery. Sounds inviting, doesn't it? And this is a treasury. So this is a door that leads to a treasury, then. Who knew? The sparkling gemstone picture really throws you off, doesn't it? I mean, who knows? 